Hey everybody, how are you doing? I hope that you had a fantastic Christmas and you got everything that you wanted and you gave beautiful gifts to your brothers and sisters and moms and dads and nieces and nephews. Well, oh, you don't have any nieces and nephews, right? That's just silly. I hope that you had a great time getting to celebrate all about Jesus and his birth and the gift that he is during that season. And you got to celebrate New Year's Eve. Did you stay up super late? What did you guys do? I hope that you are ready for 2021 and the new year that it brings. So our lesson today is about being a light. And so I'm in the dark here in my garage doing this video because I want you to be able to see something, okay? But first let's do our verse for this lesson and it's Matthew 5, 14 and it is you are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. You guys want to read that with me? Ready? Matthew 5, 14. You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. So what does that mean exactly? All right. Right here. What is this? I bet your moms and dads have these around the house, right? Right, it's a candle. And if we do this, look at that. We have this beautiful light that gives us warmth and the ability to see in the dark. So how does this remind us of our verse though? Right. We're supposed to be the light of the world. And here we have a light. And so Jesus said that we are the light of the world. But why does the world need a light? Hmm. I guess maybe because it can be pretty scary out there. But we have hope when we believe in Jesus and trust him to be our guide. All right. So see how steady this light shines? That's what Jesus meant. Everyone can see this light and it's not going out, right? Because we're trusting in Jesus to be the light. And that light is going to be a guide to other people to bring them to him. All right, so I've got another light for us. I bet you guys have seen these before, maybe just recently, you know, cause it was New Year's Eve and maybe you got to stay up super late. I don't know. Did you guys use these? Oh, this is why I'm in my garage. You ready? Let's see if we can get this to light. Whoa, look at that. Look at how bright it is and it's flashy. Oh my goodness. You can do designs with it and it's just sparkly. Oh, wow. Let's just watch it for a minute. Did you guys do these on New Year's Eve? Oh, but they kind of hurt if they get you, huh? Whoa. Look at that thing go. That is so pretty. Oh, I like the sparkle. The lights are popping around and they're so much fun, aren't they? Oh, oh no. What, what's happening with them? Oh, huh. our sparkler is not shining anymore. So what should we do? Should we maybe try and light it again? Well, that doesn't seem to work. I think we burned up all the fuel on it. All right, that's kind of a bummer. So super bright, super shiny. It was really fun and great to look at, but didn't go very long, did it? It kind of burned out quickly. But wait a minute, our our candle, our candle's still going, right? So maybe Jesus is like fuel. He's the light and he keeps us going. So with Jesus, we can last longer, right? We can be lit for a long time or we could be like the sparkler and Maybe be popular and have fun, but 
without Jesus, that fuel, we burn out real quick, right? So which one do you think we should be? A sparkler that lights up for a short amount of time, or we can be a candle, right? We should totally be like the candle. We should let Jesus be the fuel for our hearts and the reason that we keep going and that we can be a light to other people, right? So I want to pray about it, but I also want to say in this new year with new beginnings, let's try and be like the candle. Let's be this light that just wants to keep on burning. Let's keep using the fuel of Jesus to keep us lit so that we can lead others to him. And they're going to see this and say, hey, why are you still going? Why are you so bright? What is that hope that keeps you alive? And he'll say, Jesus, because we don't want to be like this sparkler. It's, now it's no fun, right? All right, so let's pray to be a candle in this new year instead of a sparkler, all right? Uh, dear Jesus, thank you so much for Christmas, for New Year's parties, no matter how that looked this last year. And Jesus, thank you for our new beginnings. Thank you that we are always promised a new, fresh start in you. And help us to be candles, Lord. Help us to be that light that keeps on shining in a world that can be dark and scary. Help us to be a light to others so that we can bring them to you. Lord, we don't want to be sparklers. We don't want our light to go out quickly. We want it to keep going on forever. And Jesus, just be with these children right now in this new year and watch over them and keep them safe till we can be back together again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. I miss you guys. Be a light in this new year. Happy 2021.